So ladies and gentlemen, can I introduce you, Lucy and their show entitled Landlady. <laughs> Are you all going to interview me? C-H-E-R-E-L-L-E, Sherelle, and um, I come from the West Indies. Um, I haven't been in London very long, but I love it. I just love London. Um, and I've heard a lot about this family house, and that's why I'm here. Now, the thing is, is that um, I like to do a bit of singing every now and again, you know? And um, back home in the West Indies, everybody tell me that how I must come to London. Because if I come to London, then I'll be a big star. So um, that's why I'm here. And um, unfortunately, you know, I mean, I've been here a couple of years and everything, but not everybody's heard my voice yet. So I don't really have a lot of money. But I know that um, Fiona and her family are very generous. And what I was thinking, <laughs> what I was thinking was that if I maybe give you a little few songs and things, um, maybe we can do a little, you know, deal where, you know, I can live here. I mean, I, I know you've got two children, Finley and Ward, and they're very nice, and they've treated me very nice since I've been here. Um, and I'm very welcome to, I, I'm, I'm, if ever you want to go on a date night, you can trust me to look after your children, then, you know, just, you know, that's the kind of deal that we can do, you know. I heard that, um... You do a lot around the community, and where I'm from in the West Indies, we like to make sure that we're all together, you know. So that's why I want to be in a place like this, you understand? Um, and I heard as well that you like a bit of music, all of you, and you also like a party. <laughs> well, I do like a party, and I do like to have my, my gentleman callers every now and again. <laughs> but obviously it won't, it won't, you know, disrupt the household or anything like that, you know. <sighs> anyway, um, oh, you want to know why I want to leave the place I'm in at the moment? Well, I did tell you about my little cash flow problem. <laughs> and um, also my landlady, I mean, I, I don't, it's just not going to work. Because like I told you already, I, I do like to have my gentleman callers and she doesn't like that, and um, she doesn't like me going out late, and obviously I've got my gigs. So how can I not come home late? Do you understand? And, um, but do you know what? Actually, I wrote a little song about it. Would you like to hear it? Um, Let me yeah. just listen. Fancy helping me with a beat? Yeah. Sure. Now, the thing is, obviously, I have to just make it plain. In the West Indies, we're very, very accustomed to having a bit of rhythm. Do <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So I really need the beat to stay in the beat. You get me? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, I'm going to give you a beat, and I want you to carry that on. And then once we've established the beat, I'm just going to set up the little things here. And then I'm going to ask you to help me, okay? Just with the beat, that's all. So, just listen first. Listen. You 
Because you can be doing it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. You just keep going like that. I listen. So make sure that you're getting to this. about her landlady that you know maybe you might sway in her you know and want her to live here I think one of the reasons that she wants to live here is because like me when I came here I was so impressed at how one street in London could really kind of like just embrace everybody all different cultures um, I love the work that Louis and Fiona and the kids are all involved in I love the fact that you have your parties and as you know Cheryl likes a party um, <laughs> I love the fact that you've set up your residence association. I think it's a wonderful thing. I mean, you know, I was born and bred in London, mm -hmm. and so, um, and I grew up in the 70s, and I remember a London just like this, 
so and now I don't remember London really being like this so it's just so comforting to know that this is what's going on in this I want to be able to give you guys a gift and my gift is my gift of song so I'm going to sing one of my favorite songs by Bob Dylan but Adele because I know that a few family members here like Adele um, Adele sung this song, and so if you just bear with me, I'm going to just set up my music, and I'm going to sing that for you. Who wants to cry? Is. 
She doesn't know how to wash. Well, she says that there's no hot water. Okay, the, the boiler is broken down. <laughs> but at the end of the day, <laughs> I'll tell you what the thing is. She went off with my husband. <laughs> That's right. Sherelle likes a party. And I'm not being funny, Fiona. You want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he's going to do anything. I'm just saying, Sherelle, she's been known. Because she went up with my husband. So, you know, when he's telling you he's going down to Arsenal, <laughs> God knows what he's doing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all I'm saying is, if you want her, you can have her. But as far as I'm concerned, I know that everything's going to be out. And I'm going to sing you a song just to let you know that everything will be okay. <laughs> now, excuse me, technicals. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> At first I was afraid, I was petrified, kept thinking I could never live without her by my side. Then I spent so many nights thinking how she did me wrong, and I grew strong. And I learned how to get along, and so when she's back from outer space, I just walked in to find her there with that sad look upon her face. I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have made her leave her key. If I'd have known for just one second, she'd be back to bother me. Go on now, go. Walk out that door. Don't come around now, because you're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to break me with the bite? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh, no, not I. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how. Um, 
just clear up. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much.